what is up youtubers and we're back in the garage it's raining outside we're getting closer to christmas the goal is to get this motor inside the car before the end of the year so right now i got some products with me some dei products this one is insulating gold tape and we have the cool tube right here and also we have some uh, exhaust wrap right there I, pick, I picked up the downpipe hardware from the dealership and I also picked up some braided vacuum hoses for the, the wastegate so the plan right now is to wrap this silicone outlet this feeds the intercooler and sends the air back into the charge pipe and now if you look how close it is to the exhaust manifold you see why I'm going to be wrapping it and to be on the safe side I'm gonna use some of this cool tube and I'm gonna add it to these uh, these lines over here and also try to make this thing as safe as possible from heat and look right here you have the vacuum hose going to the wastegate actuator on this side it just a little bit short so I'm gonna remove this piece and put my own piece in there okay world 15 foot roll of this guy made it almost more than halfway so it looks awesome you can't ignore the gold on this thing too bad I'm gonna cover it up but lucky thing I bought two rolls so let's wrap the rest of it okay so there's a the first step people I got the silicone outlet all wrapped looks pretty awesome I wish I could leave it like that but I'm also gonna put this exhaust wrap on it um, I still have about this much roll left of tape so two uh, rolls that are 15 foot got the job done okay so now I'm gonna install the new vacuum line or right, I went ahead and loosened this one up so take this one off then I'm gonna connect this guy over here this is the boost control solenoid actuator or whatever you want to call it okay world so this is how far I got I used about a roll and two quarters of this DEI heat reflective tape it wasn't easy getting in these radiuses over here I had to cut multiple pieces to wrap the entire outlet so now I went ahead and um, I ran a new vacuum hose that I got from BMW. It has this braided protection on it. So I trimmed enough so that it can make its way right here to the front wastegate actuator. Just gotta put it on. Okay, so now you guys can see right here is where the vacuum line connects to the wastegate runs up through this this holder right here in this clip and it lands on this front boost control solenoid and in the rear we got this guy it runs across goes all the way to here okay quick mock-up got the down pipes on the outlets are wrapped I'm just messing with the intakes to see how I'm going to position them. But um, I got to put back on the bracket for the motor mount. So I'm going to take the down pipes back off. And I just wanted to get a dope picture with the gold because it looks so good. So, But I'm going to move the intakes out of the way and then start wrapping the outlets with the exhaust wrap as well. Because that was the advice I got from one of the guys that um, is a tech for MMP engineering. So... I'm going to follow their instructions. He said his car runs 26 pounds of boost and he never had a problem with the outlet. So I got the heat wrap on there. It wasn't easy. It's kind of hard getting in these tight radiuses. I use zip ties for now to hold them in place. I will going to transfer them over to um, metal, metal ties because of the heat. Even though these tie wraps are aligned with a metal sleeve but you know it could burn the zip tie so I'm gonna transfer them later on but um trying to figure out this pipe 
maybe I'm gonna lock it in like this so that way it can go up there try to keep I don't know how much clearance is over here but try to keep it as close to the motor as I can what's up youtubers today we are going to sandblast the intake ports on the N54 this motor uses a direct injection fuel system it has its benefits but it has its setbacks because the fuel is no longer sprayed into the intake ports it allows heavy carbon buildup especially if you have a PVC system a positive crankcase ventilation system it tends to put oil and stuff inside the intake ports so we're gonna make a sandblaster using this tool from Harbor Freight the four-piece blowgun and this water bottle I just found on the floor so I'm gonna get right into it show you guys all the stuff I'm gonna be using and let's do this okay guys so I have walnut um, blasting media some brake cleaner some Teflon tape a plastic water bottle a four-piece blowgun from Harbor Freight a 3d printed um, vacuum attachment from eBay for the N54 I have a 7 8 um, socket on a ratchet and of course a shop vac look at the amount of soot and buildup inside these ports this camera is having a hard time picking it up but I'm gonna try to show you guys with the GoPro so basically you, the intake manifold sits right here you have to remove the intake manifold now with your engine in the car um, you still can do this but instead of rotating the motor by hand because it's kind of it's kind of difficult with all that stuff in the way um, ECS tuning sells a kit to jump the starter motor so the starter motor is right here and what you would do is disconnect your fuel and the ignition and then you're gonna jump the starter and it will rotate the motor the the idea is to get the valves closed on the one that you're gonna be blasting so nothing falls down into the combustion chamber basically you got this piece right here you want to drill a hole through the bottle cap and then you should be able to stick your blow gun inside here but um I can't find my drill so I'm gonna heat this up and push it through it's just plastic nice straight hole okay so boom this is how it is just like this you got the gun through the bottle it makes like a little hopper I'm basically just gonna cut a little hole in the top of this thing right here So there it is. This is my homemade walnut blaster machine right here. Okay, I got my attachment. I rotated the valves until this side, uh, the valves closed all the way. I got my glue gun right here. So it looks like to me, this little gun is not working the way it should be. I don't see a nice stream of media shooting out of this pipe. Maybe because the diameter of this pipe is uh, too small. I'm not getting any real 
a jet stream of material coming out. Alright, so I, fi I figured out why it's not working. The media that I have is too thick to fit inside this diameter pipe. It's getting jammed inside here. You see, it's getting jammed inside the pipe. So I need something with a larger diameter or I need finer material.